the wacky world of Multimedia J. Many years ago, when I was a little kid, back in the 80s, <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting up there in years. I stayed in my first hotel. It was a nice place, very, very similar to this one. And I encountered my first air conditioner. It was one of these things. Back in those days, it was made out of metal, of course, instead of plastic. But times change, of course. It's 2015 instead of 1985, so it almost feels like a Back to the Future moment to be in front of one of the, actually sitting on the floor. This is probably about how tall I was standing up. <sighs> and just getting on top of this thing. It's like, ooh, cold air, ooh. <laughs> <sighs> Times have changed. And for one thing, yeah, I'm much taller now. <laughs> We're not here to just uh, reminisce on when I was a little kid stuff like that. Actually, let's get to work on just one thing before we call it a night here in this hotel. Uh, now this is what I'm talking about. The ultimate lazy man's computer. Now all I need is like a keyboard and mouse, a magnetic mouse setup. Uh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Don't mess up these nice little sheets. <laughs> Too bad this is a Time Warner cable remote for the DVR, so you pretty much can't do anything with the television. Uh, you can't do anything with the TV. Uh, there's no TV remote. There's only one for the Time Warner cable box, and there's only one HDMI port on this thing. So, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll plug the TV thing back in. <laughs> I'm just running the laptop through there just to experiment with the use of this laptop as a console. So this is actually a Toshiba. It's a Toshiba satellite, and it runs off an AMD A8 APU. 8 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte mechanical hard drive. I'm thinking of replacing it with an SSHD. My intent with this is to do a couple of things. First, you can double as a mouse pad. Yay! <laughs> the laptop can close and double as a mouse pad. It's nice and thin. I think this thing was actually made to compete with some of the thin MacBooks that are coming out these days. So I'm HDMIing out with the lid closed. So it has an, it's an, it has an APU in it, so satisfies my curiosity about APUs. And I also brought my controller along for this trip. So let's set this sucker back to auto, and let's play some games. I don't know how I'm going to do this with the... Uh, let's see here, check the white balance. I have the white balance on cold mode because, eh, well, I figured I'm used to filming with cold colors anyway, so I don't care if it looks like an office. Let's just go back to here, and now everything's nice and warm again. Yeah, anyways. Alright, we can get all the colors on this screen. Now, I think I'm actually going to have to try and balance the tripod on the bed. <laughs> and, uh, oh, this is going to be interesting. Alright, let's try this. Hotel, bed, view, something or another. <laughs> do some shovel night here. There's almost no volume because the remote is actually for the, the Time Warner cable box. So it's not for the TV, there's nothing for the TV here. Make sure you see if I get a universal remote, see if I can program it. <laughs> Alright, anyways. This is obviously cheating, but... It doesn't take up the picture entirely, but I have no way of getting at the settings on the TV to fix that. Let's put it on just scan mode, so we'll deal with a little bit of underscan, is it called? But the reason why I wanted to get this machine is so I can play some games on low mode, and when I go on the bigger trips where I'm away for a while at a time, hook it up and basically have it function as a console. <laughs> so, it's running Shovel Knight without hitch, and I believe this is a 1080p TV anyway, so I believe this is a 1080p TV. So we got 1080p Shovel Knight, no problems whatsoever. My netbook can play this game, but not a 1080p. It lacks some of the punch for it. So you get it. Yep, this doubles as a console for this game. Let's try uh, Riptide GP2. I think I can get that up to medium on this machine. There we go. I believe we had this on Beginner's uh, yeah, Luck. Let's just do the milk run as usual. So I do have a wired controller here, but I could probably go wireless if I really wanted to. 
Though I would have to bring a battery uh, charger with batteries with me for that if I went wireless. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, shut up. This is in uh, medium mode, actually. Actually, you know, I can always get a USB extension cable. Not have to chase batteries. I imagine a moderately sized one could probably work. I believe I have this like medium settings for this. A little bit of stutter here and there, but the netbook can only run this at low in low mode. So, of course, this uh, you're never going to be able to tell really, you know, what this looks like because it's camcorder let's play. But this is a game, of course, that was made initially for mobile, so it doesn't have very high system requirements. I could even put Guild Wars 2 on here. It plays Guild Wars 2 in low mode. Very, very low mode. It also plays Morrowind, I believe, in low mode. So I know that I could get, like, a graphics, one of those graphics processor adapter things. I could actually build a GPU box, maybe. Maybe that'll be the next thing. You know how sound cards nowadays, they have those plug-in sound boxes that run off of USB? I wonder if maybe USB 3 will eventually allow for a USB 3 graphics processor for laptops so people that travel can just bring an extra little box in their luggage for games and not have to worry about like a gaming PC or anything of that sort. Because uh, this APU it does have a decent integrated graphics thing. It's probably better than most of the Intel stuff out there. And that's really the only edge that AMD has is, yay, you can have a laptop that doubles as a console when you travel. <laughs> it would be funny if some of the folks I work with out here eventually see this video and uh, they're like, well, that's why he bought an additional laptop instead of just bringing the company one to his hotel room. <laughs> I left it in the facility anyways. I don't want to be reminded of work when I'm not supposed to be working. Today was a long enough day anyways. Definitely going to be overtime from what happened today. Although I think, I think I might be able to comp that off on Thursday when I get back. Yay, I leveled up. So that's Riptide GP2. What else can I play? I haven't tried Dirt 3 on here yet, but uh, I'll skip that one. Let's try Burnout Paradise. Now we're talking. This is Burnout Paradise, low to medium settings. It's running quite nicely on the APU. It really calls the Silver Bullets future into quite... Ooh, a little bit of slowdown and jitter there. So let's just uh, mess around here. What the heck? You're ready for... Oh. See, the thing is, when I brought everything over from Tuxedo, it didn't copy my save game. So it's... Uh, is here. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, frame rates. I think I'm close to low mode on this though. So the intent with this is to make it have make it be like a console of sorts. I mean, shut up with the tutorials. Shut up. Shut up. Ay, 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 ay. So the console, uh, yeah. So I'm looking to have this be like a console when I'm on the when I'm on the go like this. So uh, you figure what's a console? It's a gaming apparatus, but with it's a gaming apparatus, but with uh, slightly lesser, well, notably lesser graphics than what PCs can do. I mean, even the new stuff coming out it can't do 1080p like this can. Well, it can sort of do 1080p. <laughs> I can always pop open the lid, which will drop it down to 720 if I want a quick boost. But yeah, just makes you wonder what laptops are going to be like in a couple more years. When you can just basically use your laptop as your console with Steam. <laughs> Almost makes you wonder if Steam boxes are even worth it in the first place, because, I mean, Steam boxes, why have a Steam box when you can have something like this with a battery and you can just take with you and you can do serious stuff on it too, like, you know, pay bills or surf or whatever, something like that. Silver Bullet still gets better graphics performance than this, though, and it's an aluminum case, so should be good for taking over the folks' place and bringing some PC games over to keep everyone occupied, or at least the younger folks, anyways. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is starting to remind. Oof, this is starting to remind me too much of the drive out here, so I think I'm gonna call it a night. Okay, good. I've confirmed that it is a 1080p TV. It's outputting to 1080p, anyways. Big problem I'm having though is there's a lot of way too much color, and the sharpness is way too high, which is a known problem when you do HDMI out to a big TV like this. Just doesn't play nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Chair watching TV. <laughs> hey, look what's on TV tonight. <laughs> oh man, this is about as random as it gets. Hey, I lost my signal. <laughs> hey, look, it's the Geek Suite from the Suite. <laughs> there. 
Now I'm finally in the chair. See why I didn't vlog from here earlier? Not enough stuff in the background, man. <sighs> okay, this concludes the trio of videos from the temporary geek suite, as it were. Till next time, this is Multimedia J signing off. Thanks for stopping by.